In this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to TubeBuddy so that you can understand how it can help you to grow your YouTube channel. I've been using TubeBuddy since day one on my channel. In fact, I installed it before I even uploaded my first video. And it really has been a, a, a real help in terms of helping me in the early days to understand what I even needed to do to get my videos uploaded, making sure I'd got titles, descriptions, tags, thumbnails, all that sort of stuff all in order um, with some great sort of checklist functionality which I'll be touching on a little bit later. Uh, but then as I've grown the channel as well, it's got a whole suite of tools that are really going to help you optimize your channel and get uh, more views, more click throughs onto your videos uh, and basically a higher retention once people are there as well and hopefully get them clicking onto the videos that follow as well. So it really is a, a great, a great tool. So this is actually the first in a series of videos where I'll be covering all of the different features of TubeBuddy uh, and I'll also be talking about the different pricing plans as well uh, and so that you can understand you know, what all the features are in the pricing plans and then understand what all the different features do uh, and then you can decide and evaluate which uh, one is right for you. Uh, now I will first of all before we have a look at the uh, pricing plans I'll just show you basically where TubeBuddy fits into uh, the uh, YouTube studio because it really is a part of the YouTube studio and having used it since day one on YouTube I would feel a little bit lost without it to be honest and uh, let me just show you what I'm talking about. So here is the YouTube studio interface. TubeBuddy is just all throughout this at, in lots of different places so you'll notice it wherever you see the little TubeBuddy logo. So first of all right on the front page of uh, YouTube studio uh, we've got all these other elements that are YouTube elements you know your account your create a video upload a video all this sort of stuff uh, various different things over here but we've got TubeBuddy right here at the top. Clicking on this opens up a, uh, a separate TubeBuddy mem uh, menu and you've got a whole load of different uh, tools and things like that that you've got easy, quick access to here right from the uh, front of YouTube Studio. I'll be going through all of these different tools in detail, uh, though they all warrant a, a video to show you how to use them and how they can help you. Uh, there's also some really handy little shortcuts here to be able to navigate around the YouTube interface. So although you have got obviously menus in YouTube to go to your you know videos and playlists and things like that, once you start going into those different sections, uh, you then have to sort of navigate your back way back out to find uh, something else that you want well here you can just always just hop around to uh, whatever space you want to in the YouTube interface uh, and it's quite a time saver really and that is one of the core features of you uh, of uh, TubeBuddy is the amount of time that it can save and whenever I'm thinking about uh, you know different products and services I always think about well how much time can they actually save me uh, and uh, what's my time worth and therefore you know what's the uh, the product worth to me uh, and uh, spoiler alert <laughs> this is a really valuable resource at a very affordable price and certainly pays for itself many times over um, so the, we've also got some extension tools here so these are things that sit in the uh, in the YouTube um, studio interface so they open up within YouTube studio again we'll be going through all of these you've also got some website tools so as well as all of the tools that you get embedded in the YouTube studio interface itself there is also a whole suite of tools as well that are sort of separate on the uh, the TubeBuddy website so I'll just hop over to the website uh, so here we are on the uh, TubeBuddy uh, website logged into uh, my account uh, and you can see we've got all of these different tools down the uh, the side here and I'll be going through these ones as well uh, but there's lots to do with uh, your videos so the videos that are on there uh, things to do with search competitor analysis brand alerts a b testing for split testing really valuable tool that one is I'll definitely be uh, covering that one in detail uh, and lots of other features so these are all on the TubeBuddy website but back into the YouTube studio uh, so this is just this first menu that we've looked at here at the uh, the top of the page. If I come out of there for a moment, uh, TubeBuddy is, like I say, really in embedded into the interface. So if I, for example, come over to the content section where you'll find all of your video uploads, um, then in here it uh, features again in a few places. So first of all, we've got it sitting right up here in the uh, the menu at the top. So uh, from here, we've got a whole series of other things that we can do, like uh, find and replace, uh, adding in text to your uh, titles and descriptions and things like that. That one, <laughs> that one, I'm really fond of. It uh, has helped me and saved me a lot of time when I wanted to go and add in a load of links to the bottom of all of my descriptions, for example, or when I uh, launched my Ecamm Live Masterclass. I've got 80 videos plus on my site all about Ecamm Live so I thought well wouldn't it be great to be able to go and add in a link to the course in every one of those videos find and replace is your friend there so I'll be talking all about that one 
Uh, we've got other bulk edit things such as adding the uh, cards. So that's you know where people say, check out this other video uh, up in the top corner, <laughs> that sort of thing. Those are the cards. Uh, so that one uh, can allow you to bulk update those or add those into multiple videos. Uh, also with the end screens as well. So, uh, you know, check out this new video coming next, uh, that sort of thing, uh, where at the end of the last 20 seconds of YouTube, those are the end screens. So you can do bulk updates with, uh, with those. Uh, and then there's some <clears throat> other different tools here. Uh, this one in particular, Click Magnet, is one that I'll be drilling down into. Uh, and then you can do things like scheduling backup and all that sort of stuff. So uh, lots of tools here that I'll be uh, talking about in depth over this uh, series of videos. But that's just to illustrate the fact that you can also access some TubeBuddy features from up here. Then as we look at our video list, um, there are also TubeBuddy tools for each of those videos. So you can see here we've got this extra little TubeBuddy menu. Uh, I always like seeing the little TubeBuddy logo. It tells me that there's some extra cool functionality that I can investigate. So just clicking the little drop down here, uh, we've got, as you can see, sort of five pages of uh, extra tools all related to that video. Uh, and there are some really clever things in here. So uh, we've got things like uh, cards. So again, we saw the bulk cards and the bulk end screens. Uh, but if you just want to go and apply a template to a specific video, so you've uploaded some videos, for example, and you want to just add the same template for the end screen that you want to use for those, uh, you can just click quickly, <laughs> quickly, <laughs> quickly do that from here. Um, then there's also uh, publishing to Facebook. Now, a lot of people will cross post their YouTube videos to Facebook, but they'll do that by posting a link to it and saying, you know, check out my video on Facebook. Well, on uh, YouTube rather. Well, Facebook doesn't really like people <laughs> sending people off Facebook. They much prefer it if your video is native on uh, Facebook. Uh, and so what this does is this allows you to publish your video to Facebook, uh, but it actually uploads basically the same video to Facebook, copies over all the description and thumbnails and things like that. So uh, that is just a great little tool that's built in here. It means you don't have to go out to Facebook to go and do all this. It will just do it all for you. For you. I'll be talking about that though in another video as well. Lots of other things in here, too many to uh, go through. Uh, that is the purpose of this video series, really. Uh, just another quick one, though, share on Twitter. Uh, again, rather than just posting a link back to the uh, YouTube video, uh, this will post a link to the video, but rather than it just being a stock sort of text saying, check out my latest video, it actually brings up a little window where you can actually then compose your tweet uh, and then send it from there. So you're not leaving the YouTube studio, but you're still getting to write some custom tweet about that video. Uh, another just a great, uh, great time saver. So um, then uh, let's come out of there because like I say there is four or five pages. I'll be covering all of this functionality in uh, in detail a little bit later. But where else does the uh, YouTube, uh, does the TubeBuddy fit within the YouTube studio? Well when you actually come to upload a video, let's uh, just click on this one, um, you'll see that we've got uh, the usual YouTube interface and we've got some things down here for subtitles, end screens and cards. We've also got this part here of the uh, the TubeBuddy interface uh, and I'll be covering this in more detail in the next video actually but this is basically where you can set upload defaults so if you, uh, uh, you know, I've got, I do videos on various different things so I can just come and select, uh, maybe if this is a TubeBuddy video, click on TubeBuddy, it'll update all the description and things like that for me, add in the correct tags, all that sort of thing real massive time saver this one so uh, once again thinking about what your time is worth and how much time you would spend doing this uh, and depending on your upload schedule you can quickly work out well you know how much time has it actually saved me uh, as we come down here um, you can see uh, best practices so this is what I was talking about when I said uh, when I was first starting on YouTube and I wasn't really sure exactly what I needed to do in terms of you know the descriptions the tags the, uh, the titles all that sort of stuff uh, well here it's got just a nice handy checklist and again we'll be covering this in detail in the next video but can really just help you with your upload process and then once you even do know what you technically have to do uh, it doesn't mean that we always remember to do it does it so it serves as a really great uh, little checklist uh, it's also got a little de uh, demonetization audit so if you are de uh, if you are monetized then it'll tell you if there's anything in there that uh, maybe could cause you an issue uh, once again, we've got some more TubeBuddy uh, interface elements down here. So you can tell that all these ones where you're seeing this little uh, TubeBuddy icon are basically TubeBuddy elements. So these are all in addition to the regular YouTube studio. And as I say, I've just got kind of used to all of these now. So uh, I would really miss them if they were suddenly taken away from me. <laughs> um, so these are basically tools related to uh, tags. 
and uh, sort of things to help you with your tags. Um, so that is just on the sort of upload page. But then even as we go further forward through this, like if you come to look at the end screens that you're going to add, um, you can add a, um, you know, a, a, the end screen from a previous video or things like that. Uh, but what you can do from here is you can also create templates. So if you create videos on certain different topics where you want to have the same end screens, you know, with linking to similar videos or playlists or things like that, uh, you can create templates for those as well. So that can help you and uh, speed things up for you. Let's just come out of there for a moment. Um, and then if I come back out of here into the uh, the main part of the YouTube studio, if I was to go into analytics, there's stuff in here as well that is TubeBuddy related. So if I come into my audience, for example, uh, and scroll down, uh, then we'll see things in here for TubeBuddy as well. So YouTube does give you this uh, little graph, uh, sort of heat map, if you like, telling you when your viewers are online so that it gives you an idea of when you might want to upload. Uh, TubeBuddy goes one step further <laughs> and really just spells it out for you. Uh, recommendations for upload time and live stream time. So it's telling me for my upload time, the absolute best time for me to post my live streams, uh, sorry, my videos is Friday at 11 p.m. That's my time here in Thailand. Uh, and it's working out where that is for everyone else in the world, obviously. Um, but then also, if I'm going to post at multiple days, uh, then it tells me for each individual day what is the optimum time for me to post. Uh, and then if I go to live stream, it will tell me what is the optimum time for my uh, live stream as well. So it's just a really uh, great little uh, tool that is to uh, just really give you some clarity or more clarity over this uh, this heat map that you've got in uh, in YouTube. So there are some other places where it features as well in uh, for example in the settings menu. Now this is where uh, you can set upload defaults in uh, in YouTube. Uh, well, here you can basically set some upload defaults for description and title and things like that, uh, but you can create multiple different profiles. So then you're not just limited to the one uh, sort of upload default that you get in YouTube. Um, so this is all just to show really that it is like really embedded all throughout the YouTube interface. And it does just become part of your experience of working on YouTube. And like I say, it's become an invaluable resource for me. Um, so let's just quickly have a look at the uh, TubeBuddy website. Um, and uh, by the way, you can find the link for this in the description. It's also just written just below me, takeonetech.io slash TubeBuddy. That's obviously my affiliate link, uh, but it's a great way to support the channel if it is something that you are considering checking out. Um, then, uh, and this is the reason why I'm using it is because it is a super valuable tool for me and I want to share it with you. So that is my, my motivation here for making these videos and sharing them with you. If I come over to the, uh, the uh, TubeBuddy website, wrong one, <laughs> that's the TubeBuddy website, um, so uh, yeah, I just want to just touch on a couple of things. First of all, the the uh, the title Tube Buddy. I have really found that it has been my little friend in, in my upload process, my little uh, my little virtual coach, if you will. So I do like the uh, branding. Grow your YouTube channel faster. Uh, it certainly does that. Advanced keyword research. We're going to be coming onto this in one of the videos, actually talking about how it can help you, you know, find the keywords that are going to get you the most views. But I just wanted to mention this one. Cut publishing time in half. I would say it's more than that I would say the amount of time that it saves me is uh, just absolutely phenomenal with uh, you know being able to just add in you know stock descriptions and things like that or footers I should say to my description it doesn't create the main description but it certainly adds in all of that stuff at the bottom uh, then working with tags and things like that it has saved me an absolute ton of time and paid for itself in that respect a hundred times over, <laughs> if not more. Uh, rank higher in search results. So uh, yeah, it can help you optimize your titles and things like that. Have better SEO to get yourself uh, found. And obviously as YouTubers, we presumably want people to watch our content. <laughs> if not, maybe reconsider being on YouTube. Um, so yeah, getting more views and subscribers. So there's different tools to do that. And these things about, you know, cross posting to Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that is about getting people onto your uh, channel. Uh, and then test and twin, <laughs> test, tweak and win the click. Bit of a tongue twister that one. Um, but uh, that's all about all of the testing you can do. And I've really been digging into that in recent months, as I've got more uh, content on my channel really trying to sort of tweak and optimize and test and all those sorts of things but it makes it very easy to do so so it sort of demystifies it you don't have to dig into all of the YouTube analytics as much uh, it just puts things in plain simple terms and uh, <laughs> I like that kind of thing <laughs> um, so let's have a quick look at the uh, the pricing tiers though 
These may vary uh, internationally. I recently did a live stream all about TubeBuddy and thought that they'd drop their prices, but it's just that there's a slightly different pricing in different regions. So I'm in Thailand, but this is the US pricing that I'm showing here. Um, so uh, you can either pay for it annually, but let's have a look on a monthly basis. It's either um, the pro level, so there's three levels. There is You can try it for free. There is a free version as well. Um, we'll have a look at some of the features in a moment, uh, but there's basically three uh, three different tiers. I really do love how they start with pro. You know, often people have starter, intermediate, and pro. I like how they actually start with pro because it really does level you up to uh, a pro level YouTube uploader. <laughs> and uh, so I like that that the uh, the sort of naming of these. So it starts with the pro at nine dollars a month. Now I just got to highlight this thing down here, uh, which is if you have less than a thousand subscribers and you toggle this one on, it's basically fifty percent off. So it's four dollars fifty for a month for this. I'll just let that sit for a moment. <laughs> it's $4.50. It can save you hours, depending on how many videos you're uploading. You know, if you're uploading uh, one video a month, maybe not totally hours, um, but still, even at one video a month, to be honest, for the, the amount of headache it can take out of you, especially if you're a new YouTuber, to just have the peace of mind of knowing that you're doing everything correctly. Uh, I'll leave you to uh, judge that. But for me, this was an absolute no-brainer to start with the uh, $4.50 a month for the, uh, the pro level. Um, I was a bit foolish though. I should have just gone straight to the legend because of the features that you get with that uh, or certainly the uh, star level. We'll have a look at the different features but uh, yeah, these ones really, uh, really did help me. But uh, for the starting price of basically $4.50 if you're under 1,000 subscribers, it is a pretty great value. Uh, let me just expand all of these because you do get a load of features and it's not one of these ones where if you are on the lower level or they're sort of holding back on you uh, on you know loads of the really critical stuff, you get loads of the really great features even at that uh, that sort of the pro level so you don't have to go up to the legend straight away um, and so all these things that I've been talking about like card templates end screens uh, you know up bulk uploads all of these sorts of things all of those things to help you actually upload your content the ones that I mentioned they're all there as it is um, so uh, sorry I beg your pardon the bulk uploads aren't on the pro but the ones to actually upload the end screens and things like that and the templates are all there um, um, but what you can see is the difference between star and legend there are a few different things that aren't available on star but that does have a bulk of them like the bulk find and replace uh, all that sort of stuff uh, but all this stuff in the the SEO studio the uh, this opportunity finder I'll be explaining what all of these uh, things are um, these are these are yeah available at multiple different levels so what I'll do is as I'm going through these videos if there is a feature that I'm making a video on that is not available in certain levels I will be clear to express you know which particular level they are available in but there's just so many features uh, worth four dollars fifty of anybody's money in my mind for just even that uh, that pro level so uh, that is the uh, the pricing structure that we've got. Now, when it comes to uploading the uh, the videos on YouTube, that is where, as I say, from the beginning, I found that that was the most helpful place uh, for me because it really did just make sure I got all of the, the checklists and things that I needed. And that's what I'm going to be covering in this video that's coming up right now. So uh, I'll see you in that video.